What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I, I really want to talk about Tyga, okay? And, you know, Tyga is a rapper that has been accused of many things, um, you know, liking, uh, <laughs> liking transsexuals is one of them. But remember last year, he was dealing with this Caucasian model named Cameron Swanson. And it was a big story that while she was staying with him at Tyga's home, um, he punched her, blackened her eye. She had visible marks. And um, there was the police came and took a felony domestic violence. He actually was arrested. All right. And then, um, you know, then after that, I believe the charges might have been dropped. But what happened after that is they split up, but it appears that at her 23rd birthday, they're back together. And I, I want to talk about this because, you know, a lot of times with black men, and I've noticed this coming from the 80s, you, know, you get into it with a woman, uh, the police get involved, she call her brother, whatever, and it's not true. You end up going through hella high water because of it. You end up going to jail or end up getting put out. She comes back and says, I'm sorry. You end up getting back with her. And it's very similar to like the FTM Bay situation um, with the other brother I was talking about, you know, where basically she accused him of doing something to her son. Right. Um, and we found out that it wasn't the truth. Duty law. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, Duty Love would be a goddamn fool to go back and deal with her again. But some black men are that dumb. You know, we will do stupid shit like that. We will go back there and get completely disrespected and go back to a woman like that. And it, it, usually it's because of scarcity. But in the case of Tyga, you would assume that he wouldn't have that issue. He's not a person that has a scarcity mentality, or maybe he does. And see, this is why people that have money or athletes and, and entertainers, they have feelings. They are just as, you know, scarce, as scarce minded, scarcity minded as anybody else. But the reality is, is that this lady lied on you. And you're going back there dealing with her. Do you think that she respects you for that? I mean, think about that. Okay. Any woman that if you allow her to respect, disrespect you and you go back to her, how is she able to take you serious? I want to know. I, I really, I really want to know how. And then when you wonder why you have those same problems again, you have the same problems again. Let me tell you something, brother. How can a woman respect you when you don't respect yourself? How many times ladies, you know, and, and I look back at, at my relationships as black men. A lot of times, you know, I know this is a white woman we're talking about. But one of the things is black men, we talk about how black women have these problems and they have all these issues. And, but you know what I found out is that, you know what? God damn it. If I set my boundaries and they break them, one thing I can do, I can sure enough get rid of them. I can set my boundaries. People are going to cross your boundaries if you let them. Okay, they will cross your boundaries if you let them. Now, if you do it, you're the fool. If you do it, you're the idiot. You cannot come back and blame her for calling the cops. Like that even happened to my, you know, my own dad, my own father. I talk about him quite uh, 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 openly on my channel. And my father's had these same situations with certain people, especially his ex-wife. And, and, and it's like, he would have all these issues. For, been with the limo over 20 something years. And what would happen? She would do the same thing like this. Lie. Oh, I'm sorry. He'll go back. Lie. Guess what? Last time, almost cost him everything. Thank God for the victory that we had here in 2021 at the end. But the, the, but the, how old does it take you to figure this shit out? 67 years old, you're going through the same goddamn stuff. And I want to use him as an example. I know this is personal stuff. And you probably listen, he'll, he'll come on and talk about himself. But I want you to know. When people start making your life miserable, get rid of them. 
They lie on you. Get rid of them. What is what is what is your problem? And I'm telling you this because you don't have to take it. You just don't. Too many black men are running around here with low self-esteem. You don't feel like you're worth any goddamn thing. You don't feel like anybody should treat you any kind of way. So you go for anything, anything you can go for, you go for it. And then when you get what you're going for, you want to get mad and upset. Well, you didn't have to deal with it. People do what you allow them to do. And that is so true. And I think the manosphere and the black manosphere would be so much a better situation if you realize that. Listen, she ain't supposed to be here. She showed me who she is. I believe her. Bye. Thank you for the lesson. I'm out. Many black men got to stop doing that. And, and like, we, 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 we can't sit here and, 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 and belabor in buffoonery. When we're out here being our own worst enemy like literally for the love of god the girl almost got you ruined you got arrested you're hanging out with her why she should never ever 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 be in your presence again ever she lost those privileges nope not in this lifetime you messed up see you on the up and up but black man oh man we were some of us we missed that booty we get the promise of the booty Oh yeah, you know, you're gonna twerk that thing on me. Booty clapping sounds. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and be an idiot for the cheeks. Just lose everything that I have. And you can't even give yourself the opportunity to meet somebody who can respect you. Well, the first thing is you gotta respect yourself. Black men gotta respect themselves. I tell black women the same fucking thing. You gotta respect yourself too. It's not just a black man thing. Everybody in the black man gotta respect themselves. If you are a person that wants to have a relationship with people, you want to have somebody that cares about you. Well, God damn it. You better respect yourself. Okay. So then anybody that comes across, you knows, Oh, you see this guy right? I can't play that with him. Right. Because you're going to be gone. I don't have time for no foolishness. I don't. I don't. And tying, I'm very disappointed in him with this. And, it, it, and I want, I, I, you know, I use celebrities to, to, to teach a whole different message to African-American men that, listen, guys, it's a new day. You don't have to go back and go back to the ex-girlfriend that ain't going, that's never going to change. Some of y'all just need to start afresh anew. Okay. Let her go deal with somebody else and ruin somebody else's life. Have faith in what's out there in the world. There's a lot of people out there in the world that would love to talk to you. That would love to be able to, do, to, to, to to meet you. Give yourself a chance. Stop hanging around with idiots. People who mean you know freaking good. Okay? When are you going to stop that bullshit? I'm really being serious here. Stop the effery. But guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Drunk. Or whatever you follow that you do, subscribe to the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out. <laughs>